Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pro Pokenoob, and welcome to the first official Pokemon TCGO upload! I am excited mainly because I haven't played in a couple of months on TCGO, so I'm kind of rusty on the game, but I mean, this is kind of a hard game for me to get rusty on. I'm pretty good at remembering how to play card games, but you know what? Balls Deep is the best way to do everything! Look at my Pokemon battles. So anyways, as I mentioned before in the uh, previous upload, basically what I'm going to be doing is a quick deck profile followed up with a battle or two. I'm going to try and keep these under a half an hour, kind of like my LP parts, because um, I am a slow player when it comes to the actual strategy, so... Uh, yeah, you're going to have to deal with that, but otherwise I'll try and keep it as interesting as possible, and I will hope to make this an interesting experience. I haven't had to start something up in so long. This is really, really weird. Yeah, it's also late, and I didn't get a lot of sleep. Anyways, that's the best time to play this stuff. So, uh, the first deck that I'm going to be showcasing is actually the first deck that I built online, and that is an Empoleon deck. Now, if you're noticing, where are the Landorus? Where are the, uh, you know, the... What else do you run with this guy? Terrakion, uh, all that other fun stuff you see with Empoleon. I don't have it. So, I went to go with just a straight Empoleon deck. So, Essentially, if you don't know what Empoleon does, I'm going to reveal it here. It's a draw accelerator. I love these types of decks. I am a very big ramp player, which means that uh, you have a slow start, but your whole idea is to try and get yourself an advantage as quickly as possible through draw power, through energy power, or mana power, whatever game you play. You try and get your resources as quickly as possible and try to outspeed your opponent. That's the type of style that I like to play. Um, and make really big plays with it. So, um, Empoleon relies on having a lot of Pokemon on the field, so I can contribute up to 60 damage uh, to Empoleon's attack, and then hopefully my opponent has to play with a lot. I find that this deck works really well in this format just because of decks like TDK and Plasma Steel, who like to rely on having just stale Pokemon sitting in the back providing for the active. So, Empoleon does get an opportunity to do a lot of damage, but again, if you play something against, like, Lugia decks or any big hitter, like, relies on one attacking guy at a time, then... Unfortunately, this deck falls off a little bit, that's why I like to hold Bufalant here, um, who deals with those big Pokemon EXs that might cause a little bit of issues, so... We're lagging out a little bit, but that's gonna happen. So, uh, you know, 4-4, four and four, I got one Primplup, just in case I don't find any rare candies. One Emolga is more than enough to find all these basic Pokemon. Three Bufalons to cover for the Pokemon EX lacking. And, of course, Keldeo, because if you ever have a free space, throw in a Keldeo. That's just the format. It's the way it works in this format. It's really dumb. Free Treat is the new wave. If you do not have Free Treat, you suck. And I'm just saying all this stuff until this all loads. But quickly run over the trainers. I finally got a computer search, which is beautiful. You might recognize this from, like, first-gen cards, but uh, they made it into an ace spec because it's broken if you can run four of them. Uh, but yeah, I have Hypnotoxus just to add extra damage. Catcher because, Pokemon Communication, because I will have a lot of extra Pokemon that I don't need. So I can trade these out to try and find Empoleons as quickly as possible. Rare Candy for obvious reasons. Super Rods, uh, mainly because I'm going to show you after that I'm not running Rescue Scars. I'm actually running uh, Float Stones. Uh, Ultra Balls, I only have two, unfortunately. If anyone has them and they want to trade some extra, it would be greatly appreciated. But, you know... Four Colbris, three Ends, four Skylas, uh, Pokemon Centers, because Verbank is kind of pointless in this deck. I don't really rely on, like, I mean, I don't need the extra damage, per se, from Hypnotoxic. I'd rather have Pokemon Centers keeping my Empoleons and Bufalons alive. And Float Stones, I run Float Stones over Rescue Scar for a couple of reasons. One, I don't, I have only one Primplup. I find that, you know, if I bring them back, by the time that they're dying, I should have enough acceleration to keep going. And on top of that, I'm only putting it on Empoleon. I find it kind of a waste to put it on a Bufalon. Bufalon's just kind of in there to clean up EXs and stuff like that. So, I don't really find it to be a necessity. And I like Floatstone, because you could run switches, but whether you switch the Pokemon out or keep the Floatstone on, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it gives your Pokemon no retreat cost. That's why it's such a stupidly good card. But, um, I find that, you know, you put it on, and then if they try to... Pokemon catcher out that same Pokemon, you can just retreat out again. So it gives them less options and it forces them to kind of make either big plays to take your Pokemon out immediately or, you know, they have to come up with a new plan. But, you know, that's just my preference. I, I have four Rescue Scarves, but I'm not using it. I tried it once or twice for, for a couple of days and I don't know. Maybe I didn't play it right. But, you know, moving on to energies, it's pretty straightforward. Four DCEs and seven waters. 
Um, my deck has a really low attack cost out of the Bufalon, so the DCEs are really just in there for Bufalon, and I hope I never have to attack with Keldeo. But on the off chance that it happens, it happens. But um, I do have Ultra Balls if I don't need DC. Boom, Ultra Ball, see you later, stuff like that. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a cut while I go search for a battle. And it's going to be really awkward because I usually don't make cuts when I'm transitioning. So uh, when I have a battle, I will see you then. And now, here are highlights of what I cut out. Okay, so this is a new screen. I've never seen that before, but... Looks like my Pokemon, uh, my opponent is playing Pokemon, so we're off to a good start here. Uh, looks like he's playing a deck. I, oh, this is like the absolute, this is the absolute worst thing to start off with. You've got to be kidding me. No Pokemon for Pecom. If really. Yeah, so apparently after five minutes you're supposed to get the win, but it, it doesn't actually finish the five minutes. It goes to zero, and then it, it just stays there. I literally recorded for ten minutes waiting for the for the zero to turn to you win the game. Okay. Do I win? 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 G gimme. Gimme. Gimme the win. I did indeed, uh, give me the win. Yeah, so the way that this works is Paralyze and Poison, shuffle the, this Pokemon and everything else attached to it back into your deck. The reason why it stops TDK is because they can't use their items to accelerate, and then Excelgore doesn't allow you to take any prizes. You just keep doing that and become a pain in the nuts. This is this is the definition of lockdown. Like, the I, I can't do a thing. Thank you. Okay, so that loading screen lost its novelty after two battles. First guy DC'd. The second guy was playing Gothitel Excelgore, which, if you want to think of it this way, take a stall team and drag it out like 50 fold. And it's just so annoying. And you know what's even more annoying? Oh my god. I just finally... Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I finally get a decent... The other ones I was leading off with Bufalons. That's like the worst leadoff and have no draw cards. Those are the first two games. I'm going to spare you from that by not showing you that. But now I'm getting tired. Because <laughs> I've, been, I've been recording for over an hour. Two games that have been stalling out. I've been talking for these games. And nothing's been going on. And this guy's playing... Oh, he's playing that speed. He's playing the speed uh, electrode with, I think, Leafeon. Is that Leafeon? I forget. No, he's running some weird thing. This is Expert, by the way. I'm only playing on Expert. And I don't even know what I've talked about in the other two up in the other two battles. But I'm gonna show you a few things. So first of all, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do that. It's nice and simple. Uh. That's Skyla. This might sound stupid, but I mean, I have no other choice, really. I'm going to go for the Rare Candy now. And then what I will do is I will Skyla... What am I doing? Oh, yeah, Skyla for an Ultra Ball. Find the Empoleon, and then... Yeah, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Emolga, which is, by way, a staple. Very good staple card. Searches for two basic Pokemon that you want... And we're going to go for that right now. I'm just going to grab two Piplups. Two Piplups to be safe. Let's go. Boom. Boom. That's how you speed this deck up. That's called draw acceleration. I'm getting back into it. I sound winded, you son of a... I hate you. <laughs> it's worth a shot. I mean, what else are you going to do? The cool thing is, I get brought into two Empoleons and no rare candies. That's not as cool as I thought it would be. But what I can do is Piplup and draw eight cards for, with Colrus. That's not bad. He's playing Raticate as well. This this is weird. Did he just... What you just... You just smash kick me? Wow, don't tail whap. Don't get too excited. Wow. Okay. This is this is kind of exciting. Okay. Okay. I get it. I, I see it. I see it. Okay. So, this is one of those situations where Colrus is like, hello, let me just grab you nine cards and give you acceleration up the bum hole and you're not going to give me a rare candy. Wow. I... Really? 
In a row. Actually, no, not in a row. They do that for you. You've got to be kidding me, dude. You, you've got to legitimately be kidding me. Okay. Yeah. That's... That's a thing. How much health do you have? 60? Who's got a high retreat cost? Let's see. You look to be useless. Let's kill you. Nope, not really. I could just... I don't know. I have... Uh, call for family? You know what? Actually, yes. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Hold on. Call for family. We are going to call up. Okay, this might look stupid. Call in the Keldeo. Reason for this? He doesn't look like he's running any EXs. He's stacked on the bench. If he has any hypnotoxic shenanigans, I've got a float stone. I'll be able to float treat. He's got Charon. That's fine. Charon is still a good card. He'll, I'll be able to float treat, uh, or rush float, whatever you want to call it. He just tail whapped me. Are you... You you think you are amazing by tail whapping me. That's a really cool coin, though. He's got a Deoxys coin. That's pretty nice. Okay, so this is how it works. Russian lets you switch Keldeo in regardless. It's an ability. Then he gets the free retreat with float stone. So basically, if someone puts you to sleep, boom. Send him in, send him out. Nice and easy. This guy also has free retreat, so I can switch him in whenever I want. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any Empoleon to abuse with Skyla grabbing and, uh, rare candy. So what I'm going to do... I am going to do none of the above here. Um, this is also a good situation, because I can do up to 120 damage. I can do the maximum damage of an Empoleon. I can really abuse it. Oh. Oh. Oh, please. Please. Oh, only one? We'll fix that. We'll fix that. Let's go. Okay, so... This is what it should look like. Um, <laughs> this is what this should look like. So, you diving drum. No, when did I click on you? I didn't click, I clicked on him. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to dive and draw actually the Bufalant because I'm not going to be putting out stuff anytime soon. Uh, hello, okay. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to PCOM this guy. For an We're actually going to have a good look at my deck as well. Okay, looks... Pretty bad right now. One Bufalon. One Empoleon, two Empoleon. Two Empoleon. That blows. Okay, one's in the one's prize then. That's fine. We're gonna grab this Empoleon. Um going to rare candy onto this guy. And this is how you accelerate, ladies and gentlemen. This is the type of deck that I like to play. Draw acceleration. You just get yourself on a roll beyond all imagination. I'm going to actually dive and draw the DCE. Grab myself two cards. Excellent. Got another float stone. That's beautiful. I'm actually going to retreat. Because this guy's attacking me with an Eevee with two energies. I don't know why. I'm going to save this like a switch. So that if he does try to trap me, hey, I got float stone. Switch out. I'm taking too much damage. And now I'm going to do a full blown attack command for 120 damage. Boom. See you later. First prize taken in two games. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, this guy doesn't look like he's running the most stable of decks to be bringing to an expert level. He ends me, you piece of crap. I shouldn't have gotten used to my hand with ends running around this format, but hey. Who's the judge, right? Got the Primplup again. But I did get the Skyla and an Ultra Ball, so I could just easily rare candy and Napoleon up. Rare candy, Ultra Ball for Napoleon. I got one more in the deck. Which means I could just put Primplup on this guy, technically. That sounds like a lot of work. He's gonna catch her. What? Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just... I'm a little confused with your play, sir. Um, I think you don't... I think you misread what floats... This Pokemon... The card this Pokemon is attached to has no retreat cost. I'm just gonna... Re I get a game, and this person doesn't know what he's doing. And what upsets me... Oh, I got a Pecan. That's actually... That doesn't upset me. That makes me happy. What upsets me is the fact that I'm going to probably upload this. Oh, I got... What? I had all four? Maybe I just missed it. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, let's... Skyla for an Ultra Ball. Or not for an Ultra Ball. For a rare candy. How many rare candies do I have left in this deck, by the way? One, two, I have enough for all of them. Cool. 
That's a lucky time. Four rare candies and four Empoleons. That's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna rare candy this guy up. Do this. Play this guy out. Empoleon in the house. I don't need to accelerate anymore. I'm not even gonna play this. That'll give an advantage. In fact, I'm going to driving draw it. Get out. Don't need you. Grab another float stone. That's beautiful. I have this thing ready in the bench. Ultra ball for whenever I want. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go on an all-out assault on this guy. I'm just... I'm gonna attack him into heck. 110, see you later. Uh, yeah. So... Perhaps this is a battle that demonstrates the speed that new Polion can achieve. And apparently it's gonna go exactly like my... Pokemon showdown battles where I'm the best ones are oh my god please don't do it again oh he made it oh my goodness he made a decent play okay he made he oh okay wow okay okay he made it decent play he made a decent play that's that's a cool thing Crimson Jolteon thank you okay that was actually decent now I can't put float so not too shabby unfortunately I pulled the energy yeah He's probably not too happy about that. On top of that, though, when you start doing that and I have three Empoleons up, the chances of you getting anywhere are, are slim to nil, to be perfectly honest. I'm actually going to catch her in this piece of crap because I don't like that guy. He just lets him draw for no reason. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to diving draw out the end. I don't need this thing. Boom, boom. Uh, anything in here that I like? I don't like Bouffalant. That's cool. I can draw nine right now. How many cards do I have in my deck? I'll have plenty. Eh. I got nothing to lose. We won't just die. We and after a while, you don't want a diving draw because you might draw yourself out. I should have 19 cards left in my deck after this. Did I call it right? Oh boy. Know my maths. I know my maths. That'll do 100 damage. 110 damage, actually, because he keeps putting guys out. I really don't know what this deck... He's probably running Jolteon. Jolteon. Rare candy. <laughs> the fourth. Wow. This. Okay. Give me the benefit of the doubt. I did speed up the four Empoleons. I did speed up fairly quickly to get this. Uh, it's just unfortunate that he has nothing to respond with. I, I honestly don't know what he's playing. I guess he's playing Jolteon, but. There's no speed. Like, he's got no. He only got one Voltorb, which sucks. And I mean, there's no Mulligans in this game. So it's not like he has to, he can switch with... If you don't have any basic Pokemon in your hand, then, you know, you get to reshuffle, but you get stuck with whatever hand you have. And by the way, I like to draw my cards in a really weird manner. Like that. Ha! Ah, Buffalon, you're useless right now. Like, this is just... I sit here and laugh, because I have minimum 60... Oh my goodness, these ends. Is that the end of them? Is that the end of them? <laughs> That's the best joke I'm going to make at this time. Yeah. This Primplup wants... This guy wants to give me a hug. He just keeps coming back in my hand every time that happens. But, um, the decent thing is he's making me diving draw. That's a bonus. He's sending this thing out to die, even though he should have sent in a Minin if you want to really abuse your tag draw. Because I used to use this thing, because you get eight cards if you have a Minin on your bench. But, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. And, uh, I hope my voice isn't too... My voice shouldn't be too low. Shouldn't be, is the key. Okay, hold on. Driving out the print up because he's useless at this point in time. And yeah, I'm I'm in a I'm in a perfect position. I have You know what? I might as well showcase some care. Might as well. If he's gonna get a Jolteon up, I am weak to electric. So, I don't want this guy with three <laughs> energies. <laughs> oh my god. What is going... This is like first generation play. Oh man, I haven't seen someone load up. I do that. 500th knockout, not bad. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is going to be the worst series in the world. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if I'm wasting your time right now. I'm so sorry. This is... I better have some funky music or something going on in the back. What did he just do? He chorus? He has... 
I don't, I don't even know what he what did he do. Oh, he tag drawed. Okay, he tag drew. It's just. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I should go for a Keldeo kill. This is just so sad. Oh, man. I I honestly I swear, I will I will get you I this will be better. This will be better. This is not good first impression. Is he lower cards than I He's almost drawn as much as he has drawn as much as me, and he's ditto. Why do you have ditto? What what are you Oh, okay, never mind. I know why you have Ditto. Ditto, people are probably wondering, how the hell do you use this card? Well, basically what it does is it lets you skip the, um, yeah, thanks, thank. I played for, like, ten minutes, and he took two and a half. Almost just two, over two and a half. <sighs> I, I really don't feel like, I don't feel like doing another one after that. I, I really do not. So... I hope you enjoy that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm hysterical. I'm tired and hysterical at the same time. I, I can't believe that just happened. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. It's obviously going to be a chillax video. Don't, don't think that I thought I was the greatest player on the world from that game. That was not a real game. It's not against the deck that you'll see. There's no Jolteon, Electrode, 3 Energy, Tail Wapping, Ditto using Eevee deck. There's nothing like that. So, don't panic. Okay, there will be better ones. I don't know if I'm going to record another one tonight. I probably won't. This took way too long. <laughs> oh my god. How long was I recording for? Oh my god, it's over an hour. How long was that game? Okay, I'm gone. Bye!